In this lesson, we'll learn how to solve exponential equations using substitution methods. So in this question, we have nine to power x plus one equals one minus eight to power three x. We know that on the left side, we have nine to a power x and we have three x here. So a useful substitution will be to let u equal three power x. The problem now is that this is three power x, which is fine, but this is still nine power x plus one. So we need to change this nine to be three squared x plus one equals one minus eight to power three x. So on this side, we'll expand our bracket. So we'll have three times two x, which is two x, two times one is two equals one minus eight, three power x. So what I'll do now, I'll expand this left side. I have three power two x multiplied by three squared equals one minus eight, three power x. And on the left side now, what I'll do, I'll break this two x here to be three x squared. And we have a three squared here, which is nine. So I'll put that in front here. Equals one minus eight, three X. So now we're ready to make our substitution. U equal three power X. So we'll have nine U squared equals one minus eight U. So this resembles a quadratic equation. So let's rearrange it. We have nine U squared plus eight U minus one equals zero. And when we factorize that, we'll get nine U minus one, U plus one equals zero. So now we'll solve these two factors for U. So we have nine U minus one is zero and U plus one equals zero. On the left side, you will equal one ninth. And in this case, you will equal negative one. So now we'll go back to our original statement where we said that u equals three to power x. So now we can say that one ninth is equal to three x and negative one equals three to power x. Now this on the right side has no solution. There's no real number of value of x that will be equal to negative one on this side. So this gives no solution. On the left side, we had three x equals one ninth. So we want to make these base three. So three x would be equal to one on three squared. Three x then would be equal to three to power negative two. Therefore, x would be equal to negative two. In question B, we have two to power two x plus two minus nine times two to power x equals negative two. So if you look at this question, we see we have a base two here and a base two here. So a useful substitution may be to let u equal two power x. So we need to simplify this equation first. So we have two power two X and we'll split this sum to be a multiplication. And then we will go subtract nine minus two X equals negative two. So on this side here, so on this side here, we have four power two. And now what I'll do is I'll break the two X to be X squared like that. So I've just changed the form using a bracket. Minus nine power two X plus two equals zero. So I'll bring the two to the other side. So now we can make our substitution for two power X. So let's put U in there. So we'll have four U squared minus nine U plus two equals zero. And when we factorize that, we'll get 4u minus 1 and u minus 2 equals 0. So we can solve these two factors for u. So 4u minus 1 equals 0. Therefore, u will be 1 quarter. 
on the right side, u minus two equals zero. So u will be two. So we're not quite finished yet, are we? So we have u as a quarter and u as two. So let's come back to our original statement here where we said that u equals two power x. So we can say that two power x equals one quarter. So let's get that to have the same base, which is two. Two x is one on two squared. Two x then is two to power negative two. Therefore, x will be equal to negative two for this part. And the other side, we have two x equals two. And from that one, we can see that x will be equal to one. Thanks for watching.